couple of hours Saracens against Gloucester now for a chance to grace the biggest day of the season for Twickenham and for glory and Cipriani fires the first shot and George Cruz goodness me the first knock on and if you wanted a sign of this Saracen scrum it's a Gloucester attacking one first and foremost lot yeah, it's an area that's gone very well for Gloucester this season. Worked very, very hard you two, at their scrum. You two, Vincent. A lot you of consistency there. Ranked okay, second in the league, which is no Pace bad slow. statistic. Perfect day. Crash! Nicely, gently warm day. Just a little bit of a breeze to keep everybody cool. Saracens incidentally winning the toss, deciding to play against the breeze in the first half. And Gloucester with the first chance to fire some bullets. And Atkinson and Cipriani around the back. And Woodward, and immediately they are opening that box of fireworks. The ball needed to be gathered on the far side by Tom Marshall. Rocco Creel amongst those winning it back for Ed Slater one of this season's major influences along with 12 trees Atkinson again all oh, really wonderfully done and Woodward and this is Marshall and this is Morgan and it is the perfect plus the start in the semi-final oh through the hands and into heaven for Gloucester Look at that lack of emotion. And they get the overlap. Simple yeah, straightening. Look, look at this pass good. on the inside. Jamie George coming across, doesn't quite chase his legs and goes a little bit too high. Straightens the line and a simple touchdown for Morgan. What a start, Gloucester. Gloucester's players, player of the season. Script perfect early on. What a wonderful start. And it's amazing just to show exactly how threatening Gloucester are with ball in hand. It's one drop restart from George Cruz, which gives them that set piece platform. And then once they get into their phase play, spoke about their shape before the game, what a finish once again. Only 12 trees off his little abbreviated run-up playing in his first Premiership semi-final points and the Ben Morgan try. It's a wonderful, that timing of the pass from Tom Marshall just to give Ben Morgan as well as match with their ambition and what a start to this game for Gloucester. And the restart and kept in by Liam Williams and he did really well because that looked like it was heading out but Billy Von Apola and Coke and launched their own attack for the first time Barrett Farrell that kick through and Mayler will pick up and score that's how champions respond that is how champions respond well what a try you've got to deal with these kickoffs the Gloucester felt that that was going out of the full they left it alone Liam Williams touches it down and then it's all about the vision of Farrell once they get the ball in behind it's a beautifully weighted kick Wonderful work from Farrell, just decides, there, put it in behind, keep it in field, and on this pitch, bounces up beautifully for Maitland. Such nice play here. Speak about Owen Farrell, nothing really on, but that's perfectly weighted off his inverted commas, wrong foot. Sean Maitland, just, just out on the wing. Colour. As simple a try as it was for Ben Morgan, replied within. On finals day in the Champions Cup at St. James's Park. Very quickly up and running here at Allianz Park. He's kicking into two tries early on in the semi final. Well, it's unbelievably blistering start from Vantage to have squandered that kickoff and let Saris in so quickly. Pressure back on George Cruz. 
He was under the restart again. This time he okay, gathered it underneath his chin. Always inside, Dixie. Ben Spencer, who this season has become accustomed to um, starting ahead of Richard Wigglesworth. An earlier tackle, but he's up and running at the moment. Ruan Ackerman to Hines and Atkinson, who's stood tall and straight and strong in midfield all season. Cipriani lays it up for Charlie Sharples, and again, Gloucester running through the high notes. Here's Honeck. Remember the try he scored against Bristol at Ashton Gate earlier in the season, set up by Cipriani. Marshall again, he's roaming all over the place at the moment, Tom Marshall. This is Franco Murray, the hooker. Some more, more low thudding notes rather than the high ones for the time being. Ball's being gummed up and Saracens have won it back. They got numbers over the ball, committed to the battle, won the battle. Yeah, Willie Hines was looking for the penalty there, he felt that it didn't release, but referee saw nothing wrong with that. Counter ruck from Saris was good. They got a chance to clear their lines. Just wondering about that Jamie George shoulder, how strong it is. We'll keep an eye on that for you. Test under the high ball for Marshall, which he came through well under some pressure. That's a brilliant contest for Liam Williams putting that pressure on. Spoke about it before the game, dealing with their aerial threat. I've been trying to put that pressure back onto Saracens, which is exactly what Danny Cipriani... And Morgan try. It's what Freddie Burns and myself try to highlight before the game in terms of their shape. Because once again, those two guys trying to overload one of the runners, and then Cipriani just picking the right option. It's really 12 trees out of the back, and then it comes down to sheer numbers as well as execution. Gloucester run that shape time and time again, and it's the season they've done it once again. And George with his dicky shoulder, not finding the target. And that's um, the first line out he's lost since about 1965. <laughs> well, I tell you what, they're up against a side that are top of the Premiership in terms of putting pressure on the opponent. And give Gloucester credit, they got up there with Itoji and made it hard work for him. George had won 41 in a row. He's not lost one since uh, a little after Christmas. But as Lauren says, that's a sign of the pressure that they will put on. Liam Williams is now down injured, currently not part of this Saracens defensive effort. They've gone the other way via 12 trees boot, but that was a little bit too easy in the end for Maitland, and he will happily hammer it back downfield. Well, he's done a brilliant job there with Liam Williams down in the back line, or certainly in the backfield. He had to operate as a winger slash fullback. Covered the, covered the field really. George, just go steady. Pierce engaging in the fun. Here's Farrell picking his spot. Airborne kick this time after the little grubber that set up the try. Taken by Jason Woodward, but immediately enveloped by Saracens players. Yeah, There's a lovely kick from Farrell, got height on it, but actually kept it outside the 22, so couldn't be marked. Gloucester had to play it. Hines goes long. Good. What's the last one? Ooh, they slipped through the hands of a toe, Jay. But they eventually win it back. They've got a nice little march on there. Jamie George got the ball at the back. Jackson Ray just joining to take it off him. Trying to eke the penalty out of the referee, possibly, or the infringement out of Gloucester. They're over the halfway line. Same. There it is. And, uh, Gloucester respond with a shove of their own, led by Fraser Balmain. But it's still Saracen's possession. Barrett and Farrell and good. And now Williams coming in and offering the threat that he offers. Woodward was up in his face quickly. Well, on this occasion, it's Gloucester that affect the turnover out wide. Farrell protesting. Saracen just simply didn't get numbers there. Gloucester was secure over the ball. Just look at the walk on wide. It's a lovely tackle. Liam Williams does his very best, but look at Yako Krill. He's so low to the ground. Billy 12 trees perhaps on the slightly on the wrong side. The system that 
but either way, it's a penalty. Games of the season in the win against Saracens at King's Home in February. A weakened Saracens side that day, but Yako Krill was influential. Premiership this season. Oof. However, that's gone loose. And both hookers and both lineouts. The five metres from the line to cough up the ball so easily. Spencer will come down on the 22. Plunged backwards, picked up by Atoje. Dragged to the floor by Slater. Barrett, oh, he loves that, just cutting back inside. And Farrell on the front foot. Driving Saracens down towards the 22. Marshall. Costa stop. Farrell. Looks good alongside, now leading that chase. It's taken in by Willie Hines, but as he took the ball, he took the tackle. Just looking at it, obviously on the TV, it looks like a lovely sunny day, but it's a tough breeze for Saracens. That ball. To the front. Taken by Atoje. Marshall has um, been busy trying to regather those aerial threats. Missed out on that occasion, and here goes Barrett. Well, we saw Ben Spencer box kicks, and on both occasions, he's not quite judged that breeze, and he's been found a little bit short and, and turned the ball back to Saracens. That's one area they've really got to tighten up on. Double Centurion today. Previous three semi finals, all for Wasps, of course. More. Cruz airborne. And now Jackson Ray, ball in hand for the first time. Oh, Murray got in the way there, much to Ben Spencer's frustration. Served up on a play by Cipriani, but um, then they dropped the glasses. Some of that remedial work needed. And in the middle of that remedial work, a bit of hanging on and a Saracens penalty. Oh, just Conversation between that. Luke Pearson, Paul Dix. Once again, with that breeze in his face, Owen Farrell. This time for the lead. Oh, that had a very pleasing boom as it came off the boot. And the man who has scored more semi-final points than anybody else banks three more. Sarah is an early wobble, but Sarah is now ahead, 8-7. Yako Krill once again at the rock just calls in a little bit of problem for Saracens, which is dealt with. Woodward was brilliant, but such is the quality of the kicks that he had to be. Every one of them is contestable at the moment. Here goes Josh Honeck. He and Fraser Balmain have done the work of two men this season, covering for injuries in the front row. Hines, Mostert, what an addition he's been. Cipriani delicately hunting out Marshall and uh, that contest again with Williams but Marshall initially had it then it was ripped away from him and and here's a Toje the wonderful take initially after that kick from Cipriani just lost it on the floor as he came down I think Saracens escape okay three crumbs any loose balls even off good attacking play from Gloucester, Saracens keep coming up with the ball time and time again. This time snaffle by Sharples, only player who started up at Sale last weekend, starting today. 12 trees all popped over the top and then Woodward and his haste to get the ball out to Creel. Despite what a job they did. This is the best 50 minutes of their careers in Saracen shirt so far, they were immense. Saracens! Ending their backs Use here. It. Spencer, Barrett with Lazowski not far away. Not mentioned Lazowski much and 
an attacking sense thus far, but he was involved there and Ben Morgan thought there was a ball to be won, but penalty goes against Gloucester. Yeah, Mark has come from box kick and it's come from just doing the basics right and that's exactly what Saracens have done and over the last 10 minutes or so just winning those small little battles whether it be in the air winning those crumbs had this insidious effect upon Gloucester where it's now a mountain to the scoreboard. But there's still a threat to be dealt with. Oh, and Maitland, if that ball had been just a little friendly, it would have been scampering in for his second. Lost his defenders, had to do a lot of chasing before it was eventually under their control. Yeah, a little bit of guilty of ball watching there. Both sides, to be honest, Maitland was first to it and took a wicked bounce, didn't it? Lost have got a little bit of work to tidy up here. Cracked away by Hines. Jamie George hoists it into the arms of Cruz, but it wasn't. So they've lost the scrum halfway in the sunshine, semi final sunshine. Morgan to Atkinson with 12 trees running alongside, and Jackson Ray needed to be alert. He was on his feet quickly, but not quite quick enough to prevent Slater and Co. piling through. Once more, though, Saracen slowing it down just a smidge, and then the error. Mm. Still advantage. Saracens with the advantage for the knock on. On side, Gloucester. Still advantage. Not anymore. Always yeah, under pressure. Back. back to the knock on. Well, part of the debate over the last few weeks, along with Rob Baxter, Chris Boyd, both of whom we'll see later. Bristol's Pat Lamb as well. Just looking at Mark Atkinson, just look at the amount of runners he has in and around him. I used them as a head to head. shoving each other and Billy Vonapola driving it forward memories of that try he scored against Leinster when he carried four defenders over the try line with him Woodward was up and again it wasn't clean but again you have to credit the quality of the kick none of these attempted catches are easy what about this one from good hold stop Saracens 12 this time looking for a little bit of territory in his own 22, Danny Same Cipriani. Six, six. Oh, that is a, a languid. This time in the air, uncontested. Cruz. No legs, Ed. Jackson Ray engages and provides the acceleration. Winning the penalty. Farrell good over the head of Lazowski to Maitland and Lazowski will lead the chase Ben Morgan has to be careful eyes on the ball and but Ed Slater and it is a permanent change we are hearing it's the game against Sale after a bang to the shoulder they hoped he was fit this week but uh, he's not made half an hour Savage on Slater off Atoje leading the fight, tackled by Honek. And this is Barrington. That's a huge loss for Gloucester. Yeah, massive loss. They've just got to make sure that they only limit it to a personnel loss rather than any points. They've knocked it on, Saracens. That's a good, effective defensive set from Gloucester. Oh, it's a little burst from um, Spencer that nearly created something. Cipriani looking to create something here again. Well, not on this occasion, but we know that hey, wherever it might be from behind their try line, Danny Cipriani just managed to manufacture, but just look at the work rate and the energy of Billy Vanapola. Well, that's the show there, and you think Cipriani's going to get himself up the pitch. Key players in the last couple of minutes, Brad Barrett, a standing ovation for the captain, man of the match in the Champions Cup final. But a week out from what might be a final, that looks like a worrying looking injury. Yeah, Gloucester managed to nick the line out. Wonderful work there in the air. That's two now that Saracens have lost. It just goes to show you get up in the air, you put pressure on them, and they're vulnerable. That's a really, really good bit of line out work from the Cherry and Whites. 
three indeed. We're hearing definitely not, and that's massive. We speak about him and what he does. It's a big old collision, is it? Tension under planting his foot through the contact. Either way, it's a big old loss. But I tell you what, Nick Tompkins is a pretty decent deputy. Oh, and here goes George. Skelton, giant frame over the ball, protecting it. Tell you what, refereeing, since the referee gave Saracens an eternity, thought Gloucester had affected the turnover there. Ooh, on the bounce, spitting up into the face of Farrell, who did well to keep that under control. New man, Nick Tompkins, immediately involved. Oh, Jojo galloping through. Spencer offering support. Spencer scores. Unstoppable, undefendable. Saracens at their best. Well, it's a wonderful piece of individual skill from Mario Toji because he made amends for a pretty poor pass from the base of the scrum there. Put his side in a bit of trouble, but suddenly Billy Bonapola gets him back on the front foot. And then look at this, could have made that pass there, but throws the show and go. And then gives Spencer the easiest of scores. Super bit of skill from Itoji. It's really good decision making. The easy thing is to give that ball early and Ben Spencer would have probably been tackled. When you, tell, when you speak about developments and improvements in individuals' game, well, Mario Toji's game, we know what it's like as a ball carrier. We know what it's like in the line-out. But this here is all about decision making. Ball in two hands. And as we tick round to half an hour, Saracen's now leading by 15 points to seven. All of this after the tryout for a couple of minutes for Gloucester and for Ben Morgan. Just wonder whether Gloucester will look back at that knock-on that Saracens had in their 22 and thought maybe instead of playing out of your own 22, you might have just cleared your lines. That's a penalty in my eyes. It's a good contest, but that, that no chance the, uh, of winning the ball. <laughs> yeah, there's, um, if there's any question that um, Sean Maitland um, collided with Woodward when Woodward was in the air and we are playing the advantage as Hines gets scragged by Atoje. We will come back for the very good contest. But Mainland, in my opinion, is not a god. Just um, highlighting it to, uh, to Luke Pierce. David's 200th game. Murray picked up by Ackerman. Creel to Hines and Atkinson and Cipriani around the back. And this looks dangerous. Oh, and Sharples' pass was intercepted by Good. Just as it looked as if they were manoeuvring their way around Saracen's defence. Now they have to do some defending. Spencer out wide to the mountainous skeleton. Well, they did the hard work there, Gloucester, didn't they? They created a three on one, but just couldn't quite pick the pass. Farrell with the penalty advantage. Good. And Lazowski. Pops it in the air and Williams, oh, and Williams was taken down as the kick came through. Advantage was off balance there. Well, now gathered in by Moston. The Premiership signings of the season in that BT Sport dream team, by the way, alongside Will Skelton. Two of our picks head to head today. Here's Williams again. No way through for him. Marshall did the chasing. and Honick doing what they can to drive Saracens back into their own half. This is Skelton. Still going Skelton. Half the man, but probably twice the player that he was last season. Morgan tried to get under that, but Williams beat him to it. Ball perhaps just holding up in the breeze a little bit, and it worked in Williams' favour. Vonapola. Nicely done, beautifully done by Farrell to release Tompkins. Nick Tompkins who never lets anyone down when he comes in to play for Saracens as many games as he's played this season. Died and all this pressure is going to take its toll eventually defensively.
territory and when they've got that territory the pressure that they've exerted has just yielded points and let's not forget Farrell's missed the penalty as well in front of the sticks unusually so Gloucester just got to spend a little bit of this remainder of this half down here if they possibly can they've got a little under five minutes left to exploit this breeze that they're playing with Cruz and Farrell and George once again retaining the ball of one of their kicks they're kicking to compete game at the moment has just been first class and that's beautifully taken and it's Lazowski stepping inside ball outside try for Williams oh hang on Cipriani Cipriani came in with the shoulder in the tackle and watch the decision we were awarding the try oh, the angles what about the angles not quite just not quite enough off the restart Cruz hit by Honek Gloucester must be looking at the score and shaking their heads after that early start of theirs. Went backwards off a Gloucester hand, you'll have heard Luke Pearce tell us, so Otoje came away with it. Once again, winning the ball back. It feels a little bit like Groundhog Day, but it's a tactic which they use so well and it's coming to absolute perfection once again today. Oh, Atkinson charged it down and Trolltrees did what he could to get onto it. In the end, Cipriani made sure it was Gloucester possession, and here's Mostert. No advantage, always under pressure. Just Not wonder gone. with these kicks, who Practicing those Gloucester. kicks at training sessions, sending Use players it. up in the air, supporting players, waiting for the ball to come back. It's not by chance. Cipriani to Woodward, and how quickly Maitland was up in the tackle. And then no way through for Cipriani. Gloucester, even with possession, are being forced back. They're having the life strangled out of them. The Anacondas are at it again. Yeah, just when you get caught behind the game line, Saracen's absolutely relentless. Oof. Maitland very nearly kept that in. You could hear the sound. that there needs to be a 15-man buy-in from Gloucester when the ball's in the air, far greater urgency. That would be my starting point. Saracens with the wind in this second half and gathered on the bounce by Marshall. And immediately that black Saracens press. Tom Savage, who came on in the first half for Ed Slater, both sides losing significant players whoever gets to Twickenham next weekend Slater for Gloucester and his shoulder Brad Barrett for Saracens off with a hamstring problem Willie Hines the captain to Liam Williams who was one of the key Saris players in that first half no room there however Marshall was once again on him Marshall has worked so hard in this match so far for Gloucester Spencer now via Farrell, Billy Bonapola, no Mako today, injured, he'll be out for the next three, four months, and now Lazowski, and immediately running it through the hands, oh, this is Tompkins, and he might be running all the way to Twickenham. Still so much left in this semi-final, but already we may be looking ahead to next weekend, and Sarah opportunity brilliantly. Gloucester just didn't simply number up on that right-hand side, Saracen. With the wind, with the... That's got to be the easiest of them. Gifted by Gloucester, executed by Saracens. And it's probably just shifted the dynamics as before 16 points, you could maybe 
just try and work a bit of territory now. Gloucester have really got a chance there, Arm, with every opportunity they get. As um, deflected back by 12 trees. And it was Savage who took it up. And here's Mostert. Names that have excited so much over the course of the season. My goodness, they need something special now. And mistakes are starting to happen as they begin to press the gamble. But his chances, he's really taken them. Gloucester trying to do what they can to disrupt that scrum, but instead it's Spencer running away again into Gloucester's half-backs, Hines and Cipriani, and then... When it's 30 points to seven, you can do that as a referee, can't you? And how about this from Farrell? Just stretching their lead even further. Longest so far this season, 42 metres. This would be a new campaign best. Oh, even wind assisted. See pressure. Cipriani with the short stabbed restart. Creel did what he could to get under it, but again, it's London ball. Billy Ball. Spencer. Farrell. Crowd around has shouted offside and uh, critically so did Luke Pierce and Carl Dixon. That was going to be tasty there. Not sure you're going to win that one either, lads, if uh, kicks off. But all this has come about from Gloucester having to change the way that they play both kickoffs and Danny Cipriani is having to do that little one ball to try and regather it and it's playing straight into Saracen's hands. I'll start just saying to uh, then off for a teenage dog, do you? You're definitely You're told off by the folks when you get back, but that's about it. Frustration, I think, from Boster. He's tried everything he can at to disrupt their line out whenever he's been given the ball by Cipriani or anyone he's straightened up and run hard and strong and he's had a fantastic season he can hold his head up high for sure once again Farrell in front of the post this um much more Farrell country in terms of distance slap bang in front of it from 40 meters again with the short restart and this time they do come away with it with Sharples only survivor from um, Gloucester's 2011 semi-final lineup at Vicarage Road oh, and then Atkinson gets skeletoned yeah, again it was a good read from the big second row Creel doing what he can, holding off Spencer, now taking on Barrington, and uh, now the other prop, Cock. 12 trees, Cipriani, how quick was a Toje up on him? And then Marshall, a hint of the high about that, more than a hint, it was, it'll be a penalty. You know what, Cipriani, Marshall, can... Up with his arms in the air, but it was uh, ahead of him to Ackerman and quickly off the top. Atkinson and Hines linking up to create some hope via midfield. Mostert to Savage, who rather had to reach behind him a little bit, just slowed up the momentum. Did well, to create half a meter or so. Cipriani to 12 trees. And Tompkins there trying to make amends for the high tackle. Mostert and hit hard by Skelton, who's flying around. Cipriani waiting for the defence to come up and then he finds Morgan. Wonder whether Toji's done enough there. The ball's come out. And Saracen's going to sweep on it. Always out. Always out. Yeah, the ball was loose and Skelton fell on it. And George, and there's a whole cavalry of Saracen's players to this right hand side. Lazowski, Williams, Farrell, and Tompkins will have a second. Already the presses are running. Already they are printing the Twickenham tickets. 
Well, it's a wonderful defensive effort from Saracens. Cipriani's trying to throw that pass that we highlighted with that set up and shape and attack, but the door was very firmly shut. It was a mixture of Itoji, one or two others that get in behind. Skelton's there, secures the ball, and then it's a wonderful interpassing, beautiful hands. Score today, that's probably going to be their most. Can I have that conversation anymore? Monopola knocking the ball on. Honeck with the pass to Atkinson. Field just opened up a little bit, maybe here for Gloucester. 12 trees to Cipriani to Marshall. And there's Tompkins again. I wondered if they'd miss Brad Barrett. Of course they'll miss Brad Barrett, but Tompkins, one of those replacements who comes on and adds value. Cipriani. And as soon as he looked to his right, he saw George Cruz. Okay, no hands in. You just look at what Saracens are doing because they know that Gloucester having to chase the game. Look at their increased line speed. I mean, just as I say that, he actually goes offside with the intense there for Gloucester and that little battle with Will Skelton as Cipriani clears it to the Wigglesworth. For the first time this season, the younger man has started to win it, starting regularly. Surely the next time we see Ben Spencer, he'll be trotting out at Twickenham. Our 10th Premiership semi-final. Joining Alex Good as a record holder. And Ray lays it back to Hines. Atkinson, oh, bouncing ball. Just too many loose threads at the moment from Gloucester. Well, that's a line which started on the 22. No, through no, their no. inaccuracy once again they're up on the halfway line Fraser Balmain holds on to it Tackle. coaches forward of the season incidentally Balmain used to be in the shadow of Dan Cole at Leicester John Arfoa when he was at Gloucester now very much the first choice tight head but he and his mates have got a battle on their hands now Mario Toje and Kurt Zeke on, Nick Skelton off. Season that began with um, Phil Morrow, the head of performance here at Saracen, suggesting that Will Skelton could lose a bit of timber. Well, I'll tell you what, he's the perfect illustration of being able for Saracen's ability to be able to get the very most out of their players. He's been around the world, this boy. Australian rugby union couldn't get him fit enough. Long-standing record held by James Simpson Daniel. Do you know who played fullback that day alongside Charlie Sharples? I do. Lawrence? I think I do. Freddie Burns. And our guest today. Wigglesworth. Farrell still running so hard. And now Williams looking for another try of his own, but that went forward. Uh, Liam and Sean Maitland, so uh, no, it's worked for us today. It's paid off and sometimes the bounce the ball don't go your way, but we'll take it. And then it's having the right line to where the catch is going and then where the other players are around that catch. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff we've taken from the AFL without giving too much away, but it's kind of being on the inside of that basketball key when you're getting rebound from the net, that kind of philosophy. Brilliant, Al. Um, your bloke are at it again, so we'll, um, we'll watch what they're up to. Thank Cheers, you, Tom. Cheers, mate. Harold to good. Tiptoeing through! Almost to the line, not quite lazy it up for... Vincent Cott, Henry Purdy was in the way importantly, Atoje gathers it, stretches not quite, Cipriani was there and then another twist for Tonkins and he's got his hat-trick! <laughs> Only the second semi-final hat-trick in Premiership history. The blonde-haired Nick Tonkins for a leader and of course they'll miss him. We often focus on the 15 at Saracens, but when you've got quality like that who are able to come onto the pitch and have that kind of value in massive games like today. In his um, best kicking performance of the season as English champions. Well, these are tough moments for Gloucester but they absolutely should not take away from what they've achieved up to this point. And players like that front row, like Honeck and Murray and Balmain, have added so much and given them so much hope over the next few seasons. Well, of course, Nick, and it will be harsh just to judge 
just crossed the team on the 57 minutes we played for Ghana today. They've been outclassed by the best team in Europe. But I think it'd be a far better critique to look at what they've done over the last nine months. What Johan Ackerman set into place is sustained success. So with the signings alongside what he currently has, they're going to be competing at this level for many years, no doubt. Now, Franco Mostert as well, Lol, who's been replaced by Lewis Ludlow, maybe the signing of the season. Yeah, he's been superb and he's given absolutely everything. But what they've seen today is what excellence, what world class really looks like. And at the moment, despite what Ackerman has done, the players today have been a long way away from that. So they've really got something to aim for. Here goes Woodward. You may well have noticed that um, Ralph Adams Hale and Christian you Judge too, you too. have um, come on as prop replacements for Saracens. And this is Grill and oh, determination to go beyond Wigglesworth into the 22. Cipriani. Oh, it's wonderfully held up for Dreyer and he scores. A little hint, a little echo, a little shadow of all that's been good. That shape, isn't it? Overloading those two forwards onto that one defender. Yako Krill, Jason Woodward with their involvement. And then that penetrating pass. This is it once again, the shape which we've seen all year long, which worked. And it's just... just is it a show and go slash pirouette? I think it's all of the above. But he... Saracens change. Mike Rhodes, who's recovered from his back problems to run the final bend of the season, taking the place of okay, Billy Bonapola. Move the head of Savage into the arms of Ben Morgan. Watch this player's player of the season this season. He's been rattlingly good as well. Well, it's testament to Saracens that we've hardly mentioned Ben Morgan today, really. They've been able to keep him quiet. He's been so effective. Perhaps when they look back, they try and find ways of getting a player like him into the game a little bit more earlier on in the, in the play. They were taken initially by... Lost it. Lacking the accuracy there, Toji just getting one back for his side. Jackson Ray. Go, go, go. Toji over there. Sorry, use it. Cruz helping to provide the longest of long rucks, and Christian Judge was at the tail of it. Taken by Henry Purdy. Enjoying Premiership run outs again for the first time in a while, back end of the season. Here's Rapava Ruskin. They were rather hoping that they could bring Rapava Ruskin on at this stage when it was still a contest and he might be able to exploit wider, more open spaces, but it's really damage limitation now and it has been for a while. Leslie, you might remember at the rep. Does he keep the match ball, I wonder? Do you think he can go up to the referee and say I might have that one? Probably will. Jackson Ray. Wigglesworth wanting to get them going again. Maitland. Forget Saracen's quick response when they conceded the try within the opening couple of minutes. Maitland connecting with Farrell almost immediately to get them on the board. The ball wins his side a penalty. It's really good work from the prop forward. Um, time nearly up for one of the Premiership's great contributors. His final game at Allianz Park. I wonder if we'll see him at Twickenham. Shiny career with Quinns and Sarries and Claremont and then Sarries again. He's on for one last sprint around these acres. Straight along for Williams. Cipriani and Purdy. Hines, Morgan, Gloucester still absolutely determined to end this contest, end this season, showing us all that's been good about them. Hines, oh, he's almost got through. It was George who held the game up. No real offers. Potential opportunity for him to retire and look at something else. But Saracens have offered him opportunity. And he's had a brilliant year. 
winning the Heineken Champions Cup last, season, last two weeks ago and now the Premiership semi-final. Now that man has had the season of his life so far and he will um, catapult himself towards the World Cup in Japan with England. We showed a lot of toughness and character today because, you know, he had that shoulder knock in the first half and I think when the game was very much in the balance and he's done everything to stay on the field for as long as he possibly can. That's good work from Gloucester, would have been easy there. Forced the turnover. Played with him for about four or five years. Jake Pelletri, one for Jaco Creel in Gloucester's back row. Pelletri now a fully-fledged Italian international. One of those reasons that Gloucester can feel significantly happier about what's to come next season. Round, start again. Bind. Set. Morgan studying it back for Hines, Atkinson and 12 trees. Well, he's almost got through. In fact, he has got through. And then the little show and the go and the score from Ludlow. They've turned up a little late in the day. But they are showing us all that they've been about this season. And Lewis Lund from a side who are considerably behind on the scoreboard. It's probably the pick of the Gloucester tries, that wonderful Lewis piece of skill. Good. Straightening of the line there from 12 trees, the show and go to get him in behind, and then what an offload from Billy 12 trees. And then the pace and the power to finish it off. It was a lovely score from Gloucester. Since 44, Gloucester 19. What is that trio once again of Atkinson, 12 trees, and Cipriani? Pulls all kinds of chaos for the defenders, not picking the right men. So you're right, it's that transfer from Ludlam from the ball from the right hand to the left. The two Gloucester fans down below us telling Farrell that uh, we're still in this. Get on with it, Faz. Is a uh, part of Ruskin. Okay, stay on side, Sarries. Gloucester, use it. It's okay, just relax now, definitely. Yeah, you're not going to stop your eye. Hines, a long hanging clearance. Purdy was checking. It's um, well, Ruskin who is um, going to need a. We have to recognise progress. You know, they're playing with. Gloucester's development. Yeah, well, he's been there for a very long time, certainly in different roles, and I guess he's that backup to the backup. He's allowed Johan Ackerman to put, to put together whatever squad that he wants. It's worked for the majority of this season, but as Lawrence already said, that gap between them and the rest is just, is just widening that much further at the moment. Here goes Cruz. There is no dimming of the Saracens appetite for tries, for points, for more glory. However, Lost the likewise. More. Determined and they win back on, possession. It's always, you know, winning the contest. The throw to Alex Good as well in the first half when there was a two three man overlap, it seemed, on the left hand side. Atkinson, 12 trees again in combination, and now Cipriani is their time for one more last moment of brilliance before they shut up shop for the season. Learned to look so comfortable on the ball this season and then chipped through and Woodward slapping down that touchline trying to put as much pressure as he can on Alex Good and oh the spider the spider somehow finds his way out how about that it's outrageous it should come with a disclaimer because that is absolutely filthy It was, a, it was a wonderful kick, wasn't it, from Cipriani? Stayed in, stayed in, stayed in. But the calmness that Alex Good shows and displays, phenomenal. Driven up by Paledri. Cruz again, this time helped out by Joe Gray. Oh, doors are being shut everywhere, aren't they? More George Cruz. Oh, 
Oh, and uh, again, George Cruz up, but this time a little bit high. You've noticed the steely. He's an international world-class player, and I thought technically very gifted. His work at the line-out and the set pieces is talked about and discussed. You know, he's uh, some player now, George Cruz. No. Line-out snatched out of the air by Lewis Ludlow, but it's gone loose. You look at their, you look at their stats over the gain line, almost not quite twice, but 40 percent more than what Gloucester have actually provided. 62 percent of all of their traffic has been over the gain line, and that makes it so easy with your decision making to be able to control the. His final appearance as a Gloucester player. He's joining Wasps next season. Joe Simpson heading in the opposite direction, and he's on for Jason Woodward. Serious Wilson Valagon. Wow. Bind, set, balls out in the back. Like Hold the back foot, Gloucester. Hard on the floor, but still Saracen's ball. A bit of a tidying up job. Toji taking the responsibility on. Reminder that to head to the season's final, we'll um, be all dressed up in our Saturday best at Twickenham next weekend. The Gallagher Premiership final, the day when we will crown the champions of England on air at two o'clock. Oh, and this is Tompkins off in search of a fourth try in the semi final. Farrell, Lazowski, and Sarah's happy to keep it tight for the time being. Gloucester, though, still defensively working hard. That's more the burst through by Drea. Already scored one try today. Looking for something a little bit more spectacular, all of his own. Cipriani, they're lining up 12 trees. Steps inside a Toje, but not Ray. A Toje's over the ball now. Good. Okay, also yeah, trying to uh, affect the outcome. Okay, dead. Retava Ruskin. Clip back by Savage Cipriani to Marshall. All the way through for Ackerman. And Savage again. Draining all that's left of his energy for one final time in that famous shirt. Purdy. Cipriani, Atkinson, noise around Allianz Park. He's knocked it on, trying to force it again. The 12 trees back on the inside, and Saracen's just gobbling it up. We'll just happily run this clock down on what's been a magnificent performance again in a big game. Getting so used to that now. Advantage now over Saracen's. And use it, please. Wallop to way by Wigglesworth into the big. A wonderful performance, our Gallagher Premiership man of the match. Let's get into the World Cup. He's loved being involved with England at the back end of the Six Nations. He's he's certainly pushing to be on that list, isn't he? It's got to be part of the conversation, hasn't he? You know, he's played in some massive games over the last couple of weeks. His control and his accuracy today was absolutely magnificent. But just like England, lots of positions. Ben Youngs, Danny Kerr, Joe Simpson, Willie Hines. It's hard to be the first choice scrum half in the European Cup oh, final, potentially the, the Premiership final no, and six, champions, and not be on the plane to New Zealand. That would be an anomaly, wouldn't it? Or Japan. Might go via New Zealand, who knows? A couple of days in Queenstown, nothing like that to restore the soul. Bit of bungee jumping. <laughs> well, they like a holiday, Saracens, <laughs> <isn't they? laughs> yeah, That's uh, neatly done by Sherry. A little over a minute to go. Absolutely relentless. Premiership semi-final. Gray arches his back to pick out Rhodes right at the tail of the line-out. And then Wigglesworth to Farrell and then driven on. 
once more. And it was, uh, again, Tompkins at the centre of things, as he has been for much of this second half. And there will be no glorious end to Gloucester's glorious season. Cherry and White Ribbons on the Premiership Trophy will have to wait for at least another season. Instead, the European King Saris are off to Twickenham, keen on another Premiership coronation. Indisputable, unstoppable Saris today. They've won this by 44 points to 19. Well, credit Gloucester for what they came with. Their opening shot hinted at something special, maybe even possibly an upset, but you've got to marvel at the European champions. Their fifth Premiership final in six years. Absolutely relentless and ruthless at times. Frightening team to watch. So much to behold. So many good players out there on the field, and it's them who go and try and do the special, the double.